Jimmy 14 Productions presents You bloody idiots! You were supposed to stay bad! We didn't do anything wrong. Huh? Gunpowder. Hmm. If you're not in the mood to do things the Hitler way, then tough. What are you doing? That's none of your business. Come on, we better find out what he's doing. Chase is on. What the hell? Bill. But what is he doing with all those delivery boxes? Oh, Hammersville, are you crazy? Damn it. Damn, we've lost them. Whoa! <sighs> Crap! What have you done? Hey, don't look at us. We didn't mean for this to happen. I agree, I wouldn't even do so evil like that. Nonsense. Just nonsense. Send them packing. I'm getting too old for this. SILENCE! Now, I can understand that none of us are happy that Peach's castle has been destroyed, but please know that this must never get any worse for us. 
Great Britain is already under attack ever since I escaped the trial. So please don't make this worse for everyone. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to report this incident before any of you give me a mental breakdown. I'm really sorry if I blamed you both for this. It's fine, Grumba. We should be the ones who are sorry, anyways. How's that possible, lad? You see me and Stinky Pete know the really who did it. Well then, who was it? It was Hamsterball. <laughs> that hell again! tried to stop him, but he just wouldn't listen to us. And I suppose it seems like we need to tell you all the truth. About what? About Lemmy's near death. Zerg made us do it for him. He made us push some explosives straight into him, so that he could crash into them. We are very sorry. Well, it's a good thing you apologise. And don't worry, we'll all forgive you. But, Iggy, with Peach's castle destroyed, where are we going to stay? Good point, Lemmy. I suggest that for the messy evening we all find different places, like Mario said Britain is already in crisis, everything, the trial. <sighs> Great Britain really isn't the same anymore. That night... It's nice that you two got to work again. It certainly is, Guy. Oh, Guy, the new people. I have to say, it's a bro brick moonlit nick the nicked. Oh, really? I heard that you four got arrested for something back in 2001. Not again. Oh, please tell me what happened. I haven't heard of it. Well, you see, my dear Wendio. These guys got arrested because a policeman first thought that they had littered a soda can on the road when they got me and towed from Mexico. It was four years ago. You four are under arrest for littering a cube on the side of the road! What? Ha ha, what a joke. Girls. Bro, we're right next to them. Oopsies. I hope this conspiracy won't be going on for very long now. I don't want to die. I've got you now, you two. And this time, you won't get away from me. I just can't stop thinking about this conspiracy that's going on. I see now. Come on. It's a ride to New York next. We are going to the NRM. It means the National Railway Museum. Uh, right behind you, sis. Later. Right. Engines. There are two different trains that need to go to England. King Henry III and George. You two will take that big, long LNER passenger train while Fred pushes it for you two. And Mickey, I want you to take that freight train to England. You'll probably even catch up with the others. As for the rest of you, you'll have your own jobs to do.
Let's get a move on, god damn it. On the way through. Here's where Lemmy goes berserk. to plan. Come on, hi. Let's go. That night. Look, it's the Flying Scotsman, the most famous engine in the world. It sure has gone dark very quickly. I don't mind at all, my dear George. Besides, I do. Besides, I do love having a good long run for my view. And you have to admit, your does look wonderful at night. Indeed. Should probably get some sleep over here for a change. Good idea, George. Seems like we won't be the only ones sleeping in your tonight. Well. We three have been doing a lot. Why, guys? What brings you here? Well, we've been on a trip from Scotland to England. So that's pretty much why we're here. Wait, what's that? It is. Mr. Mike. Mr. Spell. And Etch. We haven't seen you three in ages. What are you three doing here? Well, we three have been doing a lot of special jobs outside of Scotland. That's probably why a lot of the toys that were owned by Andy Davis don't see us much those days. I see. Wait, Lemmy? Are you okay? Oh, I'm, I'm fine, Larry. Is this about everything getting back to normal again? Yeah. I was just thinking that if Maru and his large group of armed men can't find out who it was that did this stuff, then what will do it? They might die from this. Larry, don't be ridiculous. Of course they will find out who it was that caused all these attacks. I hope you're right, sis. Come on, Lemmy. You should get some rest. When did this first happen? Nobody told us. It's a long story, you three. Besides, the first of these was a long time ago. To be continued in part four.